Okay. By the way, did Her Majesty seem somehow not herself? Just as I thought, she claims she's not lean, and there's something something different about her. Ah, oh, but don't let word of this escape. A great number of things change, change as the years go by, but if there is one thing that will ever be the same, it's women. And their insufferable love of gossip. Crano. Well, you're okay. Did you find the girl? Did you find the girl? Luca, she W H A T. She disappeared. Luca, I mean, it's just as I thought then. Luca, I knew I recognized her from somewhere.
Luca, we seem to be in Guardia, but it looks a lot older than the Guardia we're from. Luca, there must have mistaken a girl for her ancestor. After all, that girl was our Princess Nadia. Marl that it is Princess Nadia is a descendant of Queen Ling. Queen Lane was kidnapped, and someone was supposed to have gone and saved her, but now history's been changed. Are you sure about that? This sounds like a predestination paradox. Looks so like the queen that they probably called off their search when she appeared. But if the real queen is killed, will never have existed, but there might still be enough time. If we can save the Queen, history as we know it should remain unchanged. Luca, something must happen to the queen in this era if she isn't rescued. And if something happens to her, her descendant, Princess Nadia, will never come into being.
Waka, we have to find the real queen. mumbling about. She shouldn't have been able to escape. What does he know? So just to avoid one issue, I always had in this game. While there is no grinding on the overworld, it is possible to just die immediately because you forget to replace gear. So the next thing you run into just steamrolls over you. So I put combat into wait mode because there are conversation things that happen. We pray for the peace of our world. We are ever so devout. Tee hee hee. O oh, great Lord and Master, deliver your judgment upon the weak and undeserving.
that we might reclaim the future for ourselves in your name. Oh, how delicious. I mean, delightful looking you are. Why not say a prayer for yourselves? Kitty. Nothing good ever comes from characters going hee hee. Laka, what did you find? A hairpin. Hey, this is Guardia's Royal Crest. Well, if they keep casting slow, this fight's going to take a while.
Like a few. Wasn't expecting that. Lessa, Ack. Frog, lower your guard, and you allow the enemy in. You've come to save the queen. The fiend's lair lies within. It would seem. Will you accompany me? Luca, you hear her. Kuno, it's a giant talking frog. You know I can't stand frogs. I suppose I ought not expect you to trust me, looking as I do. Very well. Do as you please. But I must save the queen. Lucka, don't you wait? You don't seem like a bad frog. I mean, person. I mean, um. Lucka, what should we do, Colonel? Loka, not on right. I guess I'll just have to get over my meat aversions to slimy air, moist skinned creatures. Loka, so, what's your name? Frog. Frog will suffice. Lucka. All right, niceness to meet you, Frog. And you as well. This room must conceal a hidden passage. Let us search every corner. (laughs) 
so according to the patch notes. They added this exclamation point marque. Yes, I know the castle is free. So like I mentioned the first time, if you forget to gear up, you're in for a bad time. Hey, there are humans in here. Try and steal our bromide, will you? Get him!
Well, I guess that was a waste buy. Belch. Hem. What with the disguises? Hurry up and change. No need to be walking around like humans in here. It's almost time for my shift. I hate pretending to be human. They're so smelly and repulsive. It's demeaning. Those ones we ate last time weren't so bad. And those two soldiers we just caught look plump and juicy. Hee hee hee. Tapper a genius. His plan to imprison the Chancellor and take on his role worked like magic. Now the queen's hours and heavy castles in an uproar. This is rich own. This is rich. Alright, thank I'll pay respects to the Fiend Lord statue before my shift starts. You came to rescue me. How kind of you. But I assure you there's no need.
The master of this place, Yakra, is so very kind. I've decided to stay here. Please make yourselves at home, too. Did you by chance come to save Queen Lean? Oh, you did? That good to know. Oh, how good of you to come. I'm sure Yakra will be pleased. Please pass the time in here with us until he has a chance to come and greet you properly. Great Magus Magus the Great, your eyes are brighter than the stars. Your flowing hair like waves atop the sea. Even those miserable sunny days of eight. When we feel your seething hate. Even braided halls hold no fear. Just so long as you are near. Chorus, Megas, O oh Lord Megas. You are a fiend lord and savior. Don't be in such a hurry to leave. Please take the time to enjoy yourselves with us. Hoi ha hey ha.
prepare yourself, Queen Lane. It is time where we bid farewell to this world. Chancellor, you. How did you get in here? Bling, frog. Frog, flee your majesty. We shall dispatch this fiend. Queen, be careful. Chancellor Cloud, ha ha. There's no use in fighting. None of you will leave this place alive. Chancellor, intolerable frog, let us see you hop your way out of this. Chancellor, enough of this Chancellor charade. The Chancellor transformed into Yakra. So maybe we should grind just a little.
I don't think we need to grind very much at all. Just I kind of made a point of not attacking everything to conserve her. Toma, you're an outsider too. The name's Toma. I'm an explorer. And if Oya can spare Tenjutu by this round, I'll be a storyteller too. Another mug. Toma, cheers, friend. Well, then, a promise is a promise. It's about the missing queen. My travels have taken me to the cathedral in the western wood. And there's something most peculiar about that place. It's only a, a hunch, but... Beg your pardon. They found Queen Lean in the canyon. Hum, it seems my suspicions were misplaced.
Ha! I thought I saw a red exclamation point he.
Okay, that wasn't quite as hard. Blaine, thank you, Frog. I knew you'd come to rescue me. Frog, His Majesty awaits most anxiously. We should return to the castle. Chrono and Luca for all your aid. Lean and I as well, please accompany us to the castle. You will be most welcome guests. True Chancellor, we owe my thanks. That monster stuffed me in there like a sack of coin. Oh, your majesty. I am undamaged as you can see. Oh, your majesty. I am, am undamaged, as you can see. Lane, yes, let us be on our way. King, you cannot know how I worried, Lane. Chancellor, Yakra, that vile beast, impersonating me and kidnapping the queen. We must institute a stricter criminal justice system in this kingdom to ensure such fiends never threaten the royal. Family safety again. Gee, that's not going to come back and bite us in the butt now. Uh.
Brog, I am disgraced. I failed to protect my queen. Lean. Frog. Lean, I am forever in your debt. Who knows what would have happened to me had you come even a little later than you did. Well, we can't find out. Because the second mall was sucked into the portal, we couldn't leave the fair. You'd imagine that the castle would have been different. By the way, what became of the girl who was mistaken for me? Oh, yeah. I forgot all about Princess Nadia. Laka Crow, where did the princess disappear? She may be there now. Did she just get her clothes back from the void? Bro. What happened? Luca, Princess Nadia? Carl, for now. It was awful. I was so afraid. I couldn't see or feel anything, but I knew I was someplace cold. This pixel find is a bit awkward to read.
You'd think that letters like B, D, and O would have the circle the same size. And it keeps throwing me off. I wonder if that what it's like to die. Luca, your highness, I. Uh. Marl, you came to help me, too. Wait. Your highness? Hey, hey, hey. Marl, I guess you guys figured me out, huh? Marl, sorry, Chrono. I didn't mean to trick you. Marl, my name is really Nadia. My father's King Guardia XXXIA. 33. I just wanted to go to the fair and have fun like everyone else. But if you'd known who I really was. Marl, you wouldn't have shown me around the fair, would you, Chrono? Merle, the real queen's safe, right? Let's go home, Chrono. No, let's stay here and step on more butterflies. The real Queen Lean was somewhere else then. It's just as I thought. You're returning home. I do not know from where you hail, but I wish you a safe journey.
Moral, you must be the real Queen Ling. Ling, my, we truly could be twins. Marley, you get along well with the king now you're here, or I'll get angry. Actually, I wouldn't even be able to do that, would I? Marl, um, never mind. I just I wish you all the best. Chancellor, my, you could be Queen Lean Twin. It has been many a day since the King and Queen could sit together here. I did not know a frog could be so brave. Fiend was posing as the Chancellor all this time. Well, I must say, the fake one was far more refined. I still don't trust him. How oh, well, that business with aiding in the Queen's rescue could have been able to trick us into believing he is not a spy. Frog, it was my presence here that endangered the queen. I 
I can remain at this castle no more. Tomorrow, need I? Indeed, your resemblance to the queen is uncanny. Frog, Chrono, you the makings of a great swordsman. Luca dot dot dot. Maybe frog sharks aren't so bad after all.
Might be smart to re-equip and use the end first. Oh my god, I bought it and then never equipped it. I seem to recall. There is something to do in the past that involves a mayor. But I don't think it's here right now. A millennial fair. Here? Have you been in your cups? Our kingdom's only 600 years old. King Guardia 21 still reigns, last I checked. So 33 minus 21 is 12. years divided by 12 is 33 and a third. Do the kinds not live to be 40? I scarce remember the days before the war against the Fiend Lord began. The months turned to years. When will all this end?
Marl, so how do we get home? Luca, well, your highness, we... Marl, please call me Marl. Luca, well then, Marl Observer. Marl, who would... Marl, I think you're amazing. <laughs> Sorry, I should be more humble in front of. Marl, enough already. I'm a princess, but what's that mean? I can't do anything special. But be you're incredible, I trade my name for your genius in a heartbeat. Well, if you say so. Anyway, I call these distortions gates. They're basically portals to the same location, in a different time. The gates are unstable, that's why they appear and disappear all the time. So I use the principle behind my telepod device. Look at... To create this gate key, it's what's locking the gate in place. Marl, but why did this gate suddenly appear in the first place?
Luca, maybe the telepod had something to do with it. Or something else made it. to sound complicated, why don't we head back to our own time for now? Luca, all right. Coming, Chrono. in any other film or show. After a time, travel adventure, something has changed, will be noticed. come back with me to the castle. It would give me a chance to thank you properly for everything. Luca, I'm really sorry for putting you through all this, Marl. talking about. It was the most fun I've had in months and I made new friends too. Luca, Chrono, be a gentleman and take her home. I still need to do a little more snooping chin to why the gate appeared. Marl, see you again soon, Luca. Ma, well, Chrono, are you ready to escort me home?
voice, Princess Nadia. Chancellor, are you all right? Where on earth have you been? We'd heard you were abducted and we had soldiers combing the entire kingdom for you. Chancellor, you back there. You're the one, are you? Thought you'd kidnap the princess. Maro, no. Chrono, only. Chancellor, seize him, seize the filthy terrorist, he deceived our princess and plotted to overthrow the crown. Maro, no, no, you mustn't. Moral, stop this right now. Chancellor, what are you fools doing? Soldier, but her highness, the princess said. Chancellor, it doesn't matter what she said. Seize him. Tomorrow, Chrono. I, your chancellor, shall serve as prosecutor. I, Pierre, represent the defense. Chancellor, members of the court. I 
will now bring forth the defendant, Chrono, who is charged with the abduction of Princess Nadia. Chancellor, what shall be safe fate? To burn at the stake, perhaps? To feel the tickler or hang upside down? Where shall we employ the guillotine? Chancellor, the choice is yours, good jurors. Now let us begin. Judge, we shall first hear the testimony of the defense. Pierre, Chrono is charged with premeditated abduction of royalty. The question is, how could he be guilty of a crime that never occurred? Pierre, the prosecution would if you believe that the defendant kidnapped the princess. However, the truth is quite to the contrary. Not only was their meeting a coincidence, but it was the princess herself who asked Chrono if she could join him. Chancellor, is this true? Who was responsible for initiating contact?
Chancellor, indeed, that the defendant deliberately approached the princess, pretending it was an accident. Girl! Chancellor, having subdued the princess, the defendant then coursed her into visiting Luca's little sideshow. There were countless witnesses to this. Shortly thereafter, both the princess and the defendant vanished. If that is not criminal abduction, I don't know what is. Chancellor, several other acts have also been brought to my attention that call the defendant's character into question. Pierre, objection! This cannot possibly have any relevance to the case. Judge, care to respond? Chancellor. Chancellor, Chrono character is at the very core of this case, your honor. This evidence will show that his testimony cannot be trusted. Pierre, very well. We have nothing to hide. Pierre, I would like to call a witness who can vouch for the defendant's good character. That man brought me my kitty back. Thank you, mister. Here, how about that? The man before you is a fine, upstanding youth. He deserves to be honored, not put on trial. Pierre 
Blue looks like they're buying it. Here, though, here. The real issue is motive. Was there any motive for this good youth to kidnap Princess Nadia? No, there was none. Pierre, the real issue here is motive. Was there any motive for this good youth to kidnap Princess Nadia? No, there was none. Please stop pronouncing Nadia like Naughty. It's either Nada or Nadia. Maybe I'll have to fix it later. Not like she gets referred to that anywhere outside the castle anyway. Chancellor, pardon me, but I believe the motive was quite clear, agreed. Chancellor, pardon me, but I believe the motive was quite clear, agreed. If you see me typo letters on the left side of the keyboard, it's because there is a bandage on my finger from ya. Plastic clothes, paper cuts. <laughs> so I can't feel how hard I'm pressing on the keys. Her fortune to tempt you, did it not, Chrono? Chancellor, are you sure? You weren't even the least bit tempted. Chancellor, very well. No more questions, your honor.
here. I believe it has been made quite evident that my client is a fine and virtuous young man. The defense rests, your honor. Pierre, I believe it has been made quite evident that my client is a fine and virtuous young man. The defense rests, your honor. Judge, members of the jury, it is time for a verdict. If you believe the defendant guilty, stand to the left, innocent to the right. Not guilty. Killed. Why? Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Order in the court. A verdict has been reached. The defendant has been found not guilty. What? Nothing bad can happen now. But even if he did not kidnap the princess, the fact remains that he did in her flight from the castle. I sentence the accused to three days of solitary confinement as punishment. Chancellor, take him away. Marl, stop! <laughs> Chancellor, P. Princess Nadia.
king, but quite enough young lady. Morel, but father! King, all I asked was for you to remain at the castle and behave like a princess. What's done is done. Even royalty must obey the laws of the land. Leave the rest up to the Chancellor and forget about your little escapade in town. King, we are through here. Marl Chrono. Chancellor, this man is a seditionist who meant to overthrow our kingdom. Thank you for the follow, Iceman Bana. Chancellor, he has been found guilty by trial. I trust him to your care. Warden, so this is the monster who abducted the princess. Warden, so this is the monster who abducted the princess. Chancellor, his execution is three days he and city he's still here to attend it. Warden, execution. I don't recall hearing anything about that. Chancellor, no cause for concern. There's only been a small delay in the paperwork. Or do you mean to question me? Warden, it never, sir. Wardens, guards.
Warden, take the prisoner away. A sympathizer from your trial brought that for you. Enjoy it while you can. Days remaining until execution. Two. Days remaining until execution. One. Wait. I can just sit here and do nothing. I've come to escort you to the executioner's block. I'll be right back. 